I'm Polly Sayer and welcome to The Sherlock Show. And it's a particularly good one today with plenty of high street fashion to get your teeth into. I have picked my favourite new pieces and I'm on hand to show you some styling ideas. And we're spending a day with Nana visiting showrooms for three high street brands to get a sneak peek at what's coming to store in spring summer. But first, let me introduce our wonderful guests. I'm joined by founder of Mirror Water, Estée Lalonde, stylist Emma Rose Thatcher, and writer and brand consultant, Billy Batia. Welcome, ladies. What a great panel. How are we all doing? Billy, I've been following you on Instagram. You're 75 hard. I don't have to talk to you about it. How's it going? It is. It's good. It's as hard as the title suggests. But um, I have never really had routine in my life, so it's been a good sort of place a hard place to start to get routine, but I'm enjoying that takeaway yeah. from it. And I just saw that you have done a half marathon oh, in thanks. Barcelona. Yeah, I did that one on the weekend. It was <laughs> yeah. good, yeah. I've been dying to mention it, any opportunity. <laughs> yeah, it's been good. It looked mega. Yeah, thanks. Um, yeah, it was a like, cool city to do it in, for sure. Have you guys been to Barcelona before? Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's really cool. I went this it? time last year while the marathon ah, was on. Didn't did you? Did you? Nice. Like, the atmosphere was incredible. Yeah, it's, it's really cool. So, yeah, just looking forward to London Marathon now. But, yeah, it's all good. I had to slip that one Oh, uh, yeah, just uh, <laughs> slide that one. It's such a humble brag, isn't it? <laughs> if I was doing it, I would tell yeah, every single person which I'm going to be insufferable <laughs> if I actually do it. I won't, won't stop talking about it. Um, Essay, you just got back from Antigua, right? Which I did, is? and so did you. Yeah, we did. We went to the same hotel. It was amazing. I mean, we were just talking about it. I yeah. loved it. Yeah, it's amazing. The beach, man. Something about oh, the Caribbean, right? It is so good. The seashells. Yeah. Did you go snorkeling? We did actually, yeah. yeah. That was one of my highlights. Yeah, same. Saw some, what um, did you see? Turtles. Saw some turtles. Yeah. We saw some see? barracuda. Did you? Yeah. yeah. Very cool. And people were like swimming close to them, and I was like, maybe just get some yeah. distance. Keep some distance there. Yeah. But no, that was fun. Yeah, quite intense, and um, but fun though, isn't it? It's an amazing place. Um, Emma, what have you been up to? Well, I feel like a bit boring compared to you guys. <laughs> I need to come out of hibernation. I feel like I'm still sort of working my way into the year. But no, I've been looking at holidays. I'm hopefully going to go to Vietnam and, <gasps> and Cambodia at the end of wow. March. Wow. To see my daughter's travelling. So oh, so amazing. Yeah. That's so cool. Have you ever been well, to that part of the world no, before? No, never. Nice. It's been a pretty mega week for celebrities this week with some pretty fabulous events happening. From New York Fashion Week to the opening of the new one and only ones that build Dubai um, to the Super Bowl. So can you give me some of your favourite looks? Billy, I'll come to you first. Um, okay, so I loved the I loved a lot of the Grammys. I know that, mm. that isn't technically on your list. Maybe that happened slightly longer than a week ago. But, um, I mean, we've already been talking about Miley. Incredible. In Margiela at the Grammys. And I loved Tyler in Versace. Yeah. They just, I feel like the Grammys is so fun. Like, yeah. people take it a bit more playfully than the rest of the red carpet season. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, deeply enjoyed that. Loved Georgie's look. Oh, my God. For the yeah. hotel opening. Georgie in this, if you've not seen it, we'll pop a picture up. But in Dubai, in this kind of strapless black full length dress with a, Very with a slit. It was, yeah. it was just incredible, wasn't it? Yeah. It looked like a super glam event. Yeah, Probably didn't it just? J-Lo, casual. Yeah, just, <laughs> yeah, just J-Lo waltzing in. Super cool, wasn't it? Um, yeah, one of my favourite looks was Anna at that same event. Anna yeah, with yellow, she looked great. Um, wearing, I think it was a, an L the label skirt and a Jacquemus sort of top and it was quite puffy. It was just the, like, the perfect thing to wear to an event like that. It almost felt like a bit of a pool party vibe, but yeah, she looks incredible, black and white. Yeah, she's always chic, I think. Um, Emma, how about you? Well, Super Bowl, I was a little bit underwhelmed, but I guess I wouldn't know what to wear to no. an <laughs> NFL match. So, But Hayley Bieber's look, I was loving. She's gone dark, so she's got the brunette yeah, hair. Yeah, and she's, has she put extensions in? She I think like, so, yeah. It looks super yeah. long, and she had on like leopard print faux fur and a denim pop of red shoes, which I loved. So, yeah. super casual, but nice outfit yeah very very cool I feel like it's quite a weird one isn't it, the Super Bowl like do you dress up like not that I'm ever gonna get to go I feel like, <laughs> like if anyone wants you never to know. invite me <laughs> you never know manifest that I Usher mean, was pretty dressed up he certainly yeah. was did you did any of you watch like the halftime show yeah I did yeah. Did you? I no I, I I I have nothing to add to this conversation <laughs> <laughs> I do not keep up with this stuff I feel like whenever I see like Super Bowl New York Fashion Week London Fashion I'm like my brain just goes turns off it's not for me I'm a beauty girl I'm a beauty girl really yeah. at heart yeah well, but I'll listen and <laughs> nod along <laughs> well, New York Fashion Week is where I'm more comfortable because yeah. I love all the street style looks yeah well let's talk about New York Fashion Week because there's been some really cool looks there so far hasn't there um, anyone that you've been particularly loving Lisa Aiken for me yeah. always nails it I think it's because 
I can almost interpret what she's wearing into my own life, mm. which I quite like. So obviously she's doing it in a much more sort of... Like a kind of peacocky way, isn't yeah, it? Like elevated yeah, elevated way. Yeah. So, but she had on this grey suit and she was wearing the Agnes jewellery, which yeah. I loved. Yeah, she's very cool. I know what you mean about her style being kind of elevated, but it doesn't feel like she's... Like a lot of Fashion Week outfits can be just quite out there and not yes. necessarily something you'd wear day to day but I feel like she always nails like she strikes that balance really well doesn't she yeah. did you see Emily Sindlev as well I feel like opposite end of the scale she's yes. a bit more kind of um, out there but she wore this kind of well, she wore pedal pushers I don't know if, did you see that note they're kind I of I did see the pedal pushers I mean I, I'm nervous about that I'm, I'm nervous too but I don't know if I, I don't know if I can get on board with that I, it's I mean, definitely yeah. I, I did the first it. time round. Yeah. I'm not doing that again <laughs> I feel like it's something that I never thought I'd get on board with again. But seeing her in it, I'm like... You try it out for us I think it's, feedback. It's probably a bit like what I ordered versus what I got. <laughs> in it. So, yeah, I think I won't be. But she, I don't know, with the hair and the little waistcoat, it's giving Carrie Bradshaw vibes, especially in New York. But, yeah, I loved it. I thought she was amazing. Well, some pretty amazing looks there. Now on to a bit of affordable fashion with me. The high street is full of so many goodies right now. And next up, I'm taking you through a try on with some of my favorites. Hello guys, I'm going to be talking you through seven of my favourite pieces from the high street right now that are going to help you transition from now to spring. I'm going to go and grab this piece first. I'm going to show you how to style each piece. All right, first up we have these jeans which are free people. They're the kind of horseshoe shape which you'll see a lot of this season. Citizens of Humanity have done a really great pair but these are considerably cheaper and still have a wicked shape. Styled them with this belt from Black and Brown, this cashmere knit from Cos, some kitten heels which are Jeffrey Campbell. Um, you could also wear a pair of heeled pointed boots if you want to go for a boot, maybe some loafers, some trainers. I actually think they're much more versatile than they look and I just think the shape will make any outfit feel a bit more interesting. Let's go for a jacket next. I'm going to go for this Align blazer. I'll see you in a moment. How good is the shape of this? We've got the big oversized sleeves, a nice nipped in waist which kind of balances out the size of the sleeves. Um, I've styled it with these black trousers which are also from a line actually. I've had them for ages and this works really nicely as a kind of full suit look. Added a little silver chain necklace which is from my capsule with Daisy London and the mango sling back heels. I also think this blazer would look so good just with a white tee and a pair of blue jeans. And again, because of the shape, everything just feels a bit more exciting. All right, let's go for these cargoes next. I've had these for a few weeks now. Um, when I say I've literally worn them to death already, I mean it. I feel like they're so versatile. I wore them on a long haul flight with a jumper and some trainers. I've worn them with a nice little top with some heels for the evening. And I love them with this white shirt from With Nothing Underneath and a pair of strappy heels. Again, you can swap these out for boots or for some trainers if you want it to be a little more casual. I'm also wearing a gold version of the necklace I was wearing before. Because they're a nice lightweight material, I think they'll work going into spring as well. But you can lay them up with knitwear now while it's still a bit chilly. They are perfect. I'm gonna reach for the trench next because I'm dying to see what this looks like on. All right, I'm obsessed with this trench. How good is the length and the fact that it's patent faux leather is just even better for me. I think every girl needs a trench in her coat collection. We say it time and time again. I feel like adding this one with its kind of patent high shine leather is just gonna really add an edge to any look. So I've styled this with just a plain white tee from J. Crew, my Citizens of Humanity Ayla jeans, and adding a pop of color with these green Nike Daybreak trainers. Next we have very cool knit, so I'm going to go put that on. So I've put on this fuzzy knit camel jumper which is from H&M and I am really impressed with how thick and luxurious it feels and also that it's not at all itchy. Um, it's a great dupe of the Totem one if you're familiar with it, so if you're looking for a similar vibe at the fraction of the price then definitely get to H&M. I'm loving it paired with these slightly barrel leg jeans in an indigo wash. They are from Align. I never thought I'd be into an indigo jean again but here we are, I really love them. And then I've just thrown on the sling back heels from Mango, which I will talk about in more detail in the next look. Just really into this outfit, simple, comfy but cool. 
finally, I'm going to put on something a little more out there. But I'm excited to give these a go. Let's see how they look. All right, saving the edgiest look till last, maybe. So I saw this look on Mango's website and I thought I had to try it. I did wonder, is it going to translate to me? But you know what? I'm kind of here for it. And I love the juxtaposition of like the sporty androgynous short with a slightly more feminine heel. These are a bit sort of silkier, so you could dress them up or indeed just for the weekend. As for the slingbacks, I just think these are the most versatile shoe that you will get your hands on this season. Because they're a low heel, you can really just chuck them on for work, for the daytime, for strolling around. They're super comfortable, but obviously you can wear them for the evening. And if you're not a big heels girl, they're nice and comfy. And I love them even more with these mesh socks. Thanks so much for watching. I really think all of these pieces are such key staples to help you transition into spring. So we'll put all the links to everything in the show notes below. God, I'm really loving that shorts and socks look. I think it's going to be my signature spring ensemble. Now, it kind of escaped you that it's Valentine's Day tomorrow. Plenty of Saltburn themed cards I've seen around. So I want to know, do you guys celebrate it? What do you do? Do you do gifts? Are you more of a Galentine's person? Estee, I'm raring to go. I to give you that. <laughs> your moment. I love Valentine's Day. Yay. I know it's so weird. And I feel like a lot of British people aren't like super into it. It's like, oh, this is so awkward. But I love it. I don't know why. I think it's nice to like it. I feel like so many of us are like, oh, no, I don't do it. And like, if I do, I'll just have something unstated at home. But what is it you love about it? Okay, I love romance in general mm -hmm. and we're not getting enough of it in our daily lives yeah. it's so hard to be romantic when you're like doing the dishes and walking the dog and like all the stuff so i feel like it's a nice day to just show a little love yeah if you're not in a relationship amazing self-love moment yeah of course i love it and galentine's day adore yeah. celebrate the girlies in your life so i honestly love it and i saw a couple kissing this morning at the tube Aww. at the side of the tube station it was so cute is it the feels <laughs> it just i don't know it would make some people sick and it just makes me be like oh that's so sweet i just yeah, like it i, I like, like it. it do you have any plans for this yes i've i've I'm hoping there are some plans. That's okay. not, it's not me. Hint. Yeah. Right? Hopefully he's watching. It's not up to me, but um, he's ordered some food. I know that. My favorite meal, chicken cute. pot pie. Oh, cute. Very romantic. <laughs> and I'm hoping for some flowers, but no, we're just going to stay in, have some wine. Nice. Who knows what else could happen? Who knows, <laughs> right? You know? <laughs> Fingers crossed. <laughs> well, here's hoping. <laughs> Um, what about that. you? Do you like it? Oh, I, yeah, I do actually. Like, I'm so I'm like first year of a, a relationship, so this is like it's prime kind of Valentine's yes. time, you know. Um, I don't know. I kind of I'm, I kind of like ordering some like some bits and bobs to make it special, like yeah, some food or you know some wine, some gifts, and some I don't, some underwear maybe. I don't know. Is that lingerie. A bit like, yeah, some lingerie. I, I don't love know. it. It's I'm thinking nice. the same. Some yeah. red lingerie yeah. tomorrow night. I know it's kind of nice. So there's this brand called Scarlet Gask who I've recently discovered, and they do some really like just gorgeous pieces. They're quite colourful. So I don't know. I feel like a lot of underwear can be quite samey, but this yeah. is something different. It's still really sexy. Feels very feminine. But in particular, it's like corset that they do, which I actually think I would wear out. So, you know, an investment piece that you can wear in the bedroom and outside. Um, <laughs> and yeah, it comes in a couple of colours, a really I nice want yellow. It. Yeah, it's, it's like, it's lush. So, yeah, watch the space. Um, Emma, how about you? Well, I've been with my husband for like 25 years, so Valentine's is definitely not a big thing. He's already told me he's going to the football, so <laughs> I definitely won't be doing anything. But it's not that I hate Valentine's, I think it depends where you are in your life. So I guess for me, like my kids are older now, I've got one travelling, one at uni, so one who's half at home half the time. Um, so we get a lot of time together now, So, but whereas sort of maybe like going back 10 years, if he'd come home with some roses on Valentine's, it would have been extra special, you know, mm. anything to have a bit of a break from the mundane, yeah. I think, when you're like working and you've got young children. So yeah, I don't, I don't hate it, but I think, I don't think it's, well, I'm definitely not celebrating it unless <laughs> I'm doing it on my own. Yeah, I know what you mean. It's kind of one of those things that like, well, like many can like slip a little bit, but 
I don't know, it may be nice. You could surprise them with a Maybe. card or something. Yeah. Yeah. You know, a salt burn card. Or something out there. <laughs> God, I hope not. Um, Billy, are you, uh, are you doing anything to celebrate with the girl? I, um, I'm single, but I actually love Valentine's Day. Like, I love love. And yeah. I'm like, oh, yeah, let's spread it. Let's see it everywhere. 100%. Um, but I am, I'm going, for, I'm actually having a very indulgent day. I'm going for a facial. And then I'm getting oh. a pedicure. And then I'm going to do my first Barry's boot camp with oh, my best friends. Amazing. The lift one, not the one where you have to run because skip. Um, <laughs> and then we're going to go for some ramen. So it's a, it's a cute day. Do Valentine's with you, Billy. Yeah. <laughs> that sounds way nicer. <laughs> Self-love day. I feel like that's more my jam, actually. Just yeah, it's fun. Yeah. Okay, Lush. Well, enjoy it where one of you guys are, are doing. Now on to a bit of the Sheerlux team and some more high street fashion. We hang out with SL's fashion broadcaster, Nana Achampong, as she heads to three fashion showrooms to check out the very best new clothes hitting our shelves soon. So this is the H&M showroom floor. Taddy. <laughs> I didn't even know it was So this is one of my very favourite showrooms on the high street because it always looks so pretty, full of really, really great clothes. Hi. This is my really good Hello. friend Zelta. <laughs> nice to meet you. Basically all of these samples are what fashion editors and stylists and influencers use either for photo shoots or events. They will come here pick out pieces and be like, I want to shoot this, or I want to wear this to this event. And speaking of events, I'm going to show you what I wore to the Brits last year. Can we guess what I wore? <laughs> <laughs> so of this insane dress. <laughs> This is from the Innovation Collection. And honestly, I still love it. Like, can I wear it again this year? Wow. Maybe. Um, so this is from the Moogla Collection. Oh my God, you look smoking. I know, I love this. Actually, maybe I'll wear that to the BAFTAs. Yeah, that's the Raban Collection from last year. So basically, any time they do a designer collaboration or any of their innovation collections, a lot of it will end up in rental. So if you didn't manage to get your hands on it, look at H&M Rental and you'll still be able That's to cool. wear it. So Nana, you're at the Brits again this year. I am at the Brits and, again this um, year. So you've got to top that. <laughs> I know, to I don't know somehow. how I'm going to top that dress. <laughs> like, I don't know what I'm going to wear this year. I have no idea. But along this side, this is all the new spring collection which when you come into the showroom, it's really great. Anything that you see is probably gonna end up in store within like one or two weeks. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm just gonna try on a few of my favorite bits that well, I will probably end up in my wardrobe <laughs> in two, two to three weeks. <laughs> <laughs> Whether I try all of this on, you know. Yeah, that's okay. exactly. The big reveal, the first reveal. <sighs> Oh, babe! I've got them on with my boots, but look at the colour. I love. I just love the shape. Yeah. I can really get away with like <laughs> eating quite a lot. <laughs> oh, she <laughs> spotted it. You I saw spotted it. a belt. This isn't the belt I'd probably wear with it, even though obviously it has got silver accents. You no, know, it's a good styling tip. Little styling hat. Do you know it's missing is pockets. So where would you wear this? This is like a day look for me. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, I'm just wearing this to work. This is like a good dinner outfit with the girls, I feel like. Do you know what I mean? It's dressy, but not too dressy. Yeah. So nice Still quite summer. modest. Cool. Outfit Love number this. one. Nice. Outfit number one in the bag. <laughs> outfit number two. You know this already. Like, I don't wear jeans. I don't own any. Ever. Ever. Wow. Okay. Jeans and trainers are the two things I don't wear, but I absolutely adore denim. So lots of denim shorts, denim dresses, denim skirts. How cute is that? Oh my god, that. I don't know where I'm so going in this, but... <laughs> <laughs> like, if it's a guy, I'm like, I want to be a bit more zhuzhy, you know? <laughs> I mean, I that's good. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see what you're having. My boyfriend, we went to the cinema once, he was like, are you capable of dressing down? He was like, why have you got heels on? The cinema. <laughs> you know the <laughs> <laughs> Oh my. One of my favourites. This isn't new. This is from the Moogla collection that came out last year. But it's available to rent. And I actually think I might rent it for the BAFTAs. All of it. The structure, the yeah. arms, the peplum. So the bust, yeah. The waist, everything. Yeah. I don't know, this kind of gives me like, now I feel like I'm in Men in Black or something. <laughs> <laughs> the sexy Men in Black. <laughs> What, so why is that? I 
feel this is? It's just like so stretchy. Oh and my god. Oh, it's so chill. How gorgeous is this for holiday? It's it looks. So, it looks like Oz. Oh my god, yeah, it does. Yeah. For my next St. Lucian holiday. Yeah, I was going to say, yeah. <laughs> I'm out of this with loads of gold jewellery, a little basket bag. Yeah. Sandals. <laughs> if it's holiday, that is the time that I do wear flats. An exception so, Yeah, sandals. Okay. Exception. To As modelled by the mannequin. <laughs> <laughs> Looks better on you. Oh, thanks. Yeah. It's meant to be a day of me trying on stuff. But Hodge has oh now God. got involved. Yes. Oh my God. Do you oh. love it? I know. They're the best jeans. Oh. <laughs> Well, so Nana, H&M done. H&M done, one of my faves. Uh, next stop, we are going to Jigsaw. Oh. Hi, it's Nana. Hi, Nana. Thank you. We are at the Varg showroom, and Varg are a PR agency that look after lots of different brands, but I am here specifically to try on stuff from Jigsaw. Really good for investing in some key pieces. I've already spotted this pink suit, which they actually had last season, but they're going to follow it through for this season because it has sold so well. I want to talk about Jigsaw jewellery. I honestly think it's some of the most underrated jewellery on the high street. It is so expensive looking. Huge, huge fan of their jewellery. I'm <laughs> <laughs> like, turn around and... It's <laughs> my <laughs> She's gone quiet. It means yeah. she's trying. It's like a child. It's like, what are they doing? <laughs> wow. Okay. Outfit number one. Outfit number one. This is a bit of me. My repeat purchase is a suit. So good. I need to add this one to the collection. <laughs> oh, I just love the pink. The pink is forever. I'm obsessed. I would probably wear it with silver shoes and have gold and silver jewelry and keep this completely. Bear. Yeah. So I think skin is very sexy. Yeah, the length as well just cuts right for an ankle boot. Love that. Really good shape. This would go really well actually with my massive red fur coat. Yeah, I love that because that's where you dab the colour. Yeah. <laughs> There's colour somewhere. I was going to say, you have to have some <laughs> She's like, I do wear black with a pink coat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is out now. It's already on site. I'm like basically a huge fan of like seasonless yeah. dressing because I absolutely hate autumn winter. Yeah. For me, this is a dress, obviously it works really well for spring, really good for summer. And then as soon as it gets to winter, I'm like, oh, yeah. I'll just add a massive furry coat. Yeah. And then I'm a winter babe. Yeah. I don't care about winter, like it just needs to end. But yeah, I'm not here for like, I do really like this jumper. I really like the jumper. Oh my God. So this is our third and final stop. We are at aisle eight PR company, which again, look after loads of brands, but specifically I'm here for Mango. It's a little try on. Hello. Oh, hi. Hi. Oh god, you look lovely. Thank oh, it's you. Like... So this is our third and final spot. Third and final stop, yeah. I'm here to try on Mango, but the thing with PR companies, they look after lots of different brands and do the PRs. Missima, which we all know and love for their gorgeous gold jewellery, layering necklaces. They also have like a lot of beauty brands, it's not just fashion. Um, a lot of PR companies do that. This is an American brand called Merit, which is, I think it launched last year or the year before in the UK. This is their flash balm, which is so, I know, it it's so lovely. Yeah, I don't even know if I was meant to use that, but <laughs> <laughs> again, <laughs> another brand that they look after, Bash. So cute. This goes so well with I your know, outfit. I'm dying. I'm dying. It's so cute. <laughs> <laughs> this is actually the specs times. Missima. Two of their brands collided. <gasps> They're really nice. Oh. That really like, looks good with the earrings. Yeah. Well. Oh, actually, yeah, it does. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when I come to showrooms, I'm usually on an appointment for some of my clients or a photo shoot. Nine times out of ten, what ends up happening is that I'm shopping for myself. <laughs> so you see one for them and one for you. <laughs>
which again, like I was saying about Jigsaw having really underrated jewellery, I feel like not enough people know about Charles and yeah. Keith. This is their latest collab that they've done with the designer Chet Lowe. Wow, that is a look. I know. It's, I feel like this is a real fashion week yeah. statement shoe. Obviously, I've gone straight for the pink suit. Yeah. That's gorgeous. Again. That's such a good fasty look. Isn't it? <gasps> Who's that? This is Hush. Oh, wow. Yes, they've also got Hush as well. Mango, this year it's their 40th anniversary and they've bought our Heritage collection, which is kind of like all key pieces from the noughties, really. I mean, look at these actual pair of pedal pushers. I'm not trying these on. <laughs> So I've got it on with my boots. Cream sunglasses, but this is from the Heritage Collection. It's in store now and online in Mango. But yeah, it's a real 90s shape. This is the back. But it's stretchy as well. <laughs> I like that <laughs> test there. <laughs> <Do you>, uh... <laughs> <laughs> right, so I'm out. I've just come straight out of the fitting room and put my coat on just because this is the vibe I'd be going for with these silver trousers. Aren't they amazing? Amazing. I love the wide such leg. Such a hit, such a good length on you. Yeah. Well, how big is that heel? Tiny, it's a kitten heel. Oh, it's so good. Boots also from Mango. Trousers from Mango, 49.99. Oh. In now. I think the silver trousers are still in. Yes, 100%. Yeah. Metallics. Still gonna be big for spring summer 2024. And even these, like I'm wearing it with boots now, but they would look great with sandals, some mules. <gasps> Love that. You look <laughs> This is an office look. This is such, but it's like a hot office look. Yeah. yeah. That looks so good. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah Everyone should just like vote for what one their like favorite has been. <laughs> yeah. Put it in the comments. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, but again, was. another co ward. We don't really have to think about it. Two pieces that instantly make you look really polished and well put together. Mango have done it seamlessly. <laughs> and I like this colour for spring as well. Okay, so Nana, that is it for today. That is it for today. We have been to three amazing showrooms on the high street. H&M, Jigsaw and Mango or Varg and I Lake. And a lot of different outfits, but what was, what was the favourite? What are you going for? So H&M, not new, but I love the mover dress. It's just an absolute stunner. Anyone would look good in that. Jigsaw would definitely be the pink suit, obviously. And then lastly, I actually loved the white shirt from Mango from the Heritage Collection. Really simple, drawstring. Yeah, it's just really cute. Amazing. Well, thank you for today. It's been thank really fun. You. And I'll probably see you in the office wearing all these. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Bring no. a different fit. <laughs> you will, definitely. Amazing. Thanks, Alan. See you Thank later. Thank you. Bye. Bye. How good is it to get a heads up on what to look out for? What a fun day out. Thanks, Nana. Um, I hope to God Hodge gets those H&M jeans. She seemed like she really liked them. Now, on to one of my favourite topics, things we love. Uh, it can be food, beauty, interiors, TV, or a random object. So, guys, hit me with what you are loving right now. Emma, I'm going to come to you first. So, keeping in the theme of Valentine's, I'm loving Etem faux flowers. Mm. So, they're called the Forever Flowers and they're super cool. They're really trying to sort of like change the perception of faux flowers. You can, like I've sent them to gifts for people before and mm. yeah, they do look beautiful in your home. So, if you're looking for a bit of a spring clean and update your home, they're gorgeous. Yeah, I love that. I feel like... Yeah, faux flowers get a bit of a bad rep, don't they? But um, it's always so sad when you have to chuck real ones away. Yeah, so exactly. Yeah. Even yeah. better thing. And you also had the a facial device. Is yes, that right? so it's called the Zip Halo. And I it's use for, it. Do you? Okay, so they yeah. say it's for the lazy girl, which is definitely me, yeah. especially when it comes to beauty. And it's like a four minute facial. So you just sort of put on the cream yeah. serum on your face and just like tones and lifts. and yeah, I love like? it. Yeah. I honestly love it. Yeah. So you're right. Skin, so <laughs> I'm going to carry so on. Are you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let's try that. Um, Estee, I'm yes. desperate to hear some 
okay. based recommendations from you. First thing I have to mention, of course, is my own brand. It wouldn't be it wouldn't be my <laughs> feature without it. Um, so yes, I have a brand called Mirror Water, and we have a body oil, and we're launching a small one tomorrow, mm -hmm. and we're really excited. It's a you know it's the best selling body oil in space NK. Just That's amazing. amazing. Yeah. There. Yes, thank so you. Do you put it in the bath as well? or just No, you body? just put it on your body. You can put it in the bath, but it's just for on the body. Lovely. As soon as you get out of the shower, inhale the essential oils. And yeah, so we're launching on Valentine's Day because I love it. And we're saying it's our little mini me. How exciting. I know. So that's, that's fun. And it excited. does look gorgeous and the packaging is so beautiful. Thank you. And thank whenever you. I get my nails done, um, my manicurist at Dry-By, she always uses your products. Does she? Yeah. I love Dry-By. Yeah, it's so Best good. Best manicure. It? Literally. Yeah. In the London, best, worth yeah, every penny. Yeah, I agree. Um, and what was your second one? And another thing I'm loving is One Day, the show on Netflix. Yeah. Have you seen it? It's so good. Oh my god, can we talk about the main actor, <laughs> Leo? I think his name is Leo in real life. You think you've done a deep dive? His name is Leo. <laughs> I've done a serious deep dive because he was in um, White Lotus, if yeah, you saw, and he was hot in that, and now he's even hotter in One Day. I'm like literally watching it, like drooling. What is the premise of One Day? I can't remember. I'm just looking at him. <laughs> <laughs> you've seen I'm it. I'm so shocked you've not read the book. I thought yeah, like I've not read the read book, it. but I'm halfway through. Okay, homework for next week. We is it is worth reading the book first? Yeah, the book's amazing. Okay. Right, it's basically about next. Dexter Music. and Emma who meet on their last night at university at their grad ball. They have this night together and then their lives are like entwined for the next 20 years mm -hmm. and they have this really beautiful friendship and it's this will they, won't they ever like mm -hmm. convert it into something more yeah. and... There's, a, you know, there's a lots going on in their lives, um, and it's such a beautiful adaptation. It's brilliant. Yeah. Really, really can't recommend it. You explained it that so well. Yeah. Because I've just written about it. <laughs> <laughs> it really is good, though. Yeah. Oh, oh, and the music's the end, amazing. It's a, a really large plot twist <laughs> at the okay. end, which I can't. No spoilers. No, no. Um, but it is. It's it's very gripping okay. and. I think the emotions that you feel when you're watching it are just really relatable oh, because everyone's had that. It takes oh, you back. That love. To those moments mm. of your youth. Mm. Oh my God, it's magical. I did make me feel that. quite And he is it, yeah. really hot, <laughs> just to bring that back. <laughs> he was fit in the white relationship. Oh yeah. my God. I just made that connection that he was in the white yeah. relationship. Yeah. He's yeah. like cheeky, chappy, mm. like muscular, yeah. and funny. And I'm like <laughs> very into it. We know how Estee's <laughs> scroll page is looking on Instagram. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, moving on. <laughs> I'm moving on. Um, Billy, what are your um, I had the most wonderful facial on Friday at Sarah Chapman. It was the Deep Glow Meso Facial. I'd never had a Meso Facial where it's like needle. Um, really tiny though, like less than two millimeters mm. in and out of the skin, just basically like pumping you full of vitamins and hyaluronic. And the glow was quite sensational. Well, you are looking very glowy today. So much. The skin's looking amazing, so it's done, um, it's done the work. Yeah, it's can't recommend that enough. And I'm really obsessed with Emma the Nutritionist. Uh-huh. Uh, I just, I love her recipes. They're so easy. I think I've tried, actually, a couple of hers. She's so good, isn't she? Yeah, and I just keep making this, like, I should try other things, but I'm, like, obsessed. This crispy chicken taco. Oh, my gosh. And there's this dip that she makes with it that's, like, Greek yogurt, avocado, coriander, jalapenos, and a bit of honey, and I just make the dip every week, and I just have it like with eggs or with salad or whatever. But so nice. Yeah, yeah. you're so recommend. good for a food recommendation. I often I, that that mob kitchen one. Yeah, the, the chopped, chopped salad. salad. <laughs> I tried that because you shared it. And I was like, that's it. So I will be trying, and the nutritionist. We will link it below. Um, and what about you? What are your faves? Oh well, so I have been loving this little film camera that I got on eBay. It's an Olympus MJU2. I think a lot of people use it I'm not the first and I certainly won't be the last but um, it's really fun like taking film mm. photos there's a real depth in the photos that you get and there's something quite exciting about getting your film developed and finding out cool, it yeah matter. yeah it does and like some of them are not so good and then others you're like oh my god that's so lovely and like I will really treasure them so um, you can get them on eBay from about 100 to 200 quid and yeah and then I just go and get them developed at a place in Soho called Aperture so yeah fun little hobby can anyone do it like could I get the camera and 100% out how to do it? it's just a uh, someone told me not to get the one with a zoom so 
that's what I did. And it's just a point and shoot, flash, no flash. It's really easy. Just take the film out, in and out, then. Wow. Yeah, I really think it's like anyone could use it. Okay. And there's something quite fun about it. And yeah, I've taken someone to my friends on New Year's Eve Aww. and things like that. It, yeah, it's just, it's a really fun hobby. I love it. Um, and the second thing is Vive's Skin Dew. So um, good. Yeah, like I Love. Yeah, it's amazing. Like I've been using the Skin Nova for a while and then I just had a bottle of the Skin Dew um, lying around. I thought, I'll give that a go. And I don't know, it's just great to, I think it's like a highlighter you can dab, but I kind of wear it a bit under my makeup as well. Mm. And it's good for a bit of glow, especially in the winter when, you know, not really getting much of a natural glow going on. <laughs> and love Genevieve. Oh my God, yeah. Love. She, yeah, she's very cool. And yeah, just love all of her products, so. That was really fun. That is it for today. Thank you so much to you guys and to the SL team. Next week, Louise Rowe is back with a fab panel and more fashion and beauty content. In the meantime, we would love it if you could comment below, give us a thumbs up and do subscribe if you haven't yet. Have a wonderful day wherever you are. Goodbye.